karma is uh, the you know of course Sanskrit word and that which means action. So mm -hmm. karma is a very profound and very pervasive. Uh, somehow it is based on the you know each and every individual's kind of like action, which means based on the body action, you know speech action and mental action. And that which can be categorized into mainly, you know, kind of two, which is known as virtuous karma and non-virtuous karma. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, there is the other, what is called neutral karma, but it is uh, not necessarily very important. So whether one wants to, you know, just uh, experience, you know, just happiness, joy, including like a liberation, then uh, one must have to concentrate on the, you know, virtuous karma which is all in a condensed way, what is known as 10 virtues, you know, kind of actions. And if one could to follow very seriously, very deeply, very properly, then uh, that is just kind of, uh, you know, uh, condense all sorts of, you know, kind of spiritual training and practice that which can be possible to, you know, experience happiness in this lifetime and also, you know, kind of the liberation. Mm -hmm. And the other part that uh, as one involved into the virtuous action, that uh, karma, then one must also have to avoid or abandon all the, you know, kind of uh, negative, you know, action in relation with one's, you know, body, speech and mind, that uh, which is known as 10 non-virtuous actions. And in that way, if one just, uh, follow one's in you know, a kind of practice in one's in you know, a day to day lifetime without you know kind of messing up with you know anything in relation with that you know kind of like action then uh, that uh, whole you know just cause and condition to attain liberation and enlightenment and so forth can be within that you know virtuous activity and uh, when one don't involved in anything whatsoever, it is negativity. Then there is no more cause and condition to reborn in the you non know, just uh, samsara. Mm -hmm. So in that way, where it also explains the whole complete nature of the interdependence, you know, kind of origination, as what it is says in the you know kind of Abhidhamma Kosh that says, "Jitin na so lelike ten samba tangjeche samba yigi leino." which means all this external phenomena, internal living being, whole complete existence and the, you know, just the phenomena are actually, you know, kind of production of that, you know, kind of karma. And uh, that uh, karma is merely just kind of, you know, created by the mind. So the mental activity or mental karma is most, you know, kind of powerful that if one have complete control over it, then it will just uh, naturally, you know, kind of follow the right, you know, kind of path. And uh, based on that, then there is, a, you know, kind of like a possible to, you know, even just attain that kind of liberation. Because uh, within that uh, practice of the 10 virtuous action and abandoning the, you know, 10 non virtuous action includes the, you know, like four noble truth, you know, kind of teaching as a, you know, kind of the essence of this, you know, kind of practice. So through that, it is, you know, kind of, uh, one can go through whole complete purification and uh, also one can assemble all the causes and condition for, you know, kind of the temporary happiness and uh, also for ultimate, you know, kind of liberation and uh, and then just uh, enlightenment and so forth.